All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in studio. We're gonna get to our next featured artist, Jeff Vermeeren. Uh, Vermeeren is an abstract painter that Park West has been uh, dealing with for a couple years now. I, I did a live show with him last year in Washington, D.C. Uh, he's been uh, he's been on the circuit going, meeting our VIPs uh, you know, on, on land and at sea. And the beautiful part about it is we've we've had a number of featured telecasts with them. This one being, in my opinion, one of the best featured telecasts. We have a, a treasure trove of published paintings. We have an incredible collection of, uh, of works by Jeff. Um, now I could talk about the, the paintings. I could talk about his process, but why should I talk about it? We got the man of the hour live. So without further ado, Jeff, can you hear me? I sure can. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you doing, man? Oh, I'm rocking and rolling. I got some new fun colors I'm working with. Okay. Trying to mix it up and just give uh, give the collector something cool to talk about. Well, so Jeff, there's there's a number of of collectors that are tuned in for the first time. Uh, so I wanna I wanna get back to the basics. Now you're an abstract painter. Your your methods of creating your paintings are unique to you in the layering and also in the materials. Uh, can you can you walk us through? I mean, you got some two incredible paintings behind you. Uh, tell oh, us about sure. your tell us about your, your 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 painterly process. Okay, so my work is all aluminum. Well, lately it's all been aluminum, and it's all ground down. And I I prep it and I mold it exactly how I wanna how I want it to look. And then from there I go into and I paint layer on layer on layer. Now something really unique about me is not only do I paint layer on layer, I actually hand mix all the layers. So every single time I paint, every single piece is a different color. Even looking back in, in your guys' uh, area there, you got totally different colors than what I even have here. But that also makes it so much fun for me to paint and reinvent and create every time. But as for a collector, it's amazing. So you're using uh, you're using like Lamborghini paints and 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 Jaguar paints, you know, like automotive paints. And the wild thing is, every year cars come out with different colors, right? <laughs> so you're oh, totally. so you're kind of using different colors that way. And then there's certain colors that get phased out that you can't paint again or you can't make those colors. Is that correct? Well, ab absolutely. And you know what? In a way, that's the fun of it because I don't know how each painting's going to work with fire or freezing them or doing it like that, you know? So after I paint 25 to 35 layers of paint, it just on top of each other, which makes it its 3D look. I let it cure for about four to six weeks. And then at that time I bring it out and I totally sand it down. I always either look at it and go, oh, I'm crazy for sanding it down because it was so beautiful. But as soon as it's all sand down, sand down, I wipe it clean. I put my signature inside and then I use the number one top coat in the industry. It's actually designed by Lamborghini. It's fingerprint resistant, so you can touch it. It doesn't leave a mark and it's UV protected. And then something really fun that was added to is it actually has a really cool diamond dust around it. So when you walk around it, it kind of sparkles. So it's just like hanging jewelry or a really nice car on your wall. Huh. And you, I mentioned, uh, um, well, you mentioned that you have 25, 35 layers, uh, the, you know, the colors that you use. But one thing I've heard you say before, and I want you to elaborate a little bit, is the, the shadows, the, 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 any, any darkness in the colors, that's not from you painting the shadows, that's from, the, from lighting it on fire, is that correct? That's exactly right. So for years and years, I never painted contrast. I burned it or I freezed it. It was just kind of my fun technique and I really loved it. Just recently, actually in this piece right here, is where I actually start with a dark background and I still light it on fire to get the contrast I, I, I wanna use. Now, one thing that most people learn about my work is I actually paint with real pearls. And so for the first two years, it was like a normal color pearl that you would see anywhere else, but now I've learned how to change the color of pearls. So now every single painting, like this one here, this is a red pearl and it's actually got a really cool blue pearl in it. So every single piece I do, I'm actually always trying to just build the most crazy, amazing piece that I've ever produced every time I paint. Wow. Okay. And uh, so let me ask you this, as far as your, um, you know, do you have an idea when you're, when you're uh, coming to a, a, you know, blank sheet of, a, is it aluminum that you work on? This aluminum. this collection is all aluminum, yes. Aluminum. So when you have a blank sheet of aluminum, uh, and you know you have this this you know these paints that you're going to work with, do you have an idea of kind of where certain things are going to happen, or you know what exact colors or mixture of colors you're going to use, or is it just kind For of sure. does it happen in the moment? I, 
Tell me about that. You, you, so the funny thing is, is most artists will kind of come into it. They know what they want to do. They have a plan. This is where they're going to go with it. Well, I've learned to paint in a certain way that every single layer is a different color. Every single layer uh, changes the painting. So truthfully, I don't. Now, I always joke and say, you know what, I have about 75% to do with the work. And then the elements and fire and all the freezing and all the just the crazy elements that are involved create the other 30%. So for me to even see the piece that you're showing right now, it's it's pretty much impossible for me to recreate that piece, which it makes it so awesome to have an original and one of a kind. Very, very neat. Uh, one, one question we get quite often with our collectors is, uh, you know, do you work on one painting at a time? Do you have, a, you know, 10 paintings that are all in, in, you know, this painting's on its 17th layer, this painting is on its fifth layer, yeah. this one's just about to finish. Uh, how, how do you, what, what's your process that way? So I get into it with the first few layers, so I kind of got a color. Now, the way I paint, it has to be cured a certain amount of time every layer. So I always dive back into them. So I have a handful that I work on at the same time. So some will have a little bit of the same traits as the other painting, but as the layers keep climbing and changing, every single painting I do is totally original and unique, every single one. Hmm. And uh, so you have a sculpture behind you and I was hoping you would have it there and you do, so it's perfect. Uh, couldn't have orchestrated it better. That is a brand new sculpture that you, that you came out with just a few months ago. Uh, they're unique, they're not even numbered because you actually have little pieces of paintings in the shape of butterflies in them, is that correct? It is correct. Now something really about unique that. about sculptures. Okay, so most sculptures have a numbered series. They will paint a piece, or I mean sculpt a piece, and then they'll just have it keep reproducing. They'll maybe have 200 or even 5,000, uh, I guess, duplicates of that piece. Well, because I'm so one of a kind with my work, I worked at it for a long time, and I'm talking about four years for this piece, to design it so that every single collector will get an original one of a kind, which is huge for a collector. So every single pea butterfly that is inside is hand painted. Now I painted on a clear, clear material called Lucite. Then after they're all painted and cure for the four to six weeks, it actually goes to a company that actually helps me get them inside and produces them. But every single one is an original. Wow. Okay, and we're uh, we're going to be so we do have the sculpture available uh, in the catalog. What about the two paintings you have behind you? Are those going to be made available too? So believe it or not, these ones I actually just finished yesterday. So okay. these are really these are actually going to be in the catalog as well, and oh, they're great. being shipped on Friday to the warehouse in Miami. Perfect. So we will be offering those uh, you know digitally through the through the telecast platform as well. well that's fantastic. And uh, Jeff, so because we have so many new people in this telecast, uh, and I, you know there's there's some collectors that have five of your pieces are looking for their sixth work to, to you know for their uh, for their dining room, whatever it may be. Uh, there's some collectors that are brand new to the art of Jeff Vermeeren. Uh, let me ask you this. I asked Christian Masso the same. Uh, for anyone that's approaching your art for the first time, what do you want their takeaway to be by uh, experiencing your art? What do you want you their- You know what's really neat yeah. as- a... Sorry, go for it. No, no, go, go ahead, go ahead. So, so as a collector, I don't keep using the same colors, same method every way. It evolves with me. So as I, I grow in life and how I grow and develop, it's it's something really neat to watch the journey of how those pieces evolve. Now, just like many artists, I'm only one person, so I can only create so many originals a year, which is great, but in a way it's it's bad. So, uh, so as you collect an original, definitely they go up and value it for a collector because they're all original. Hmm. Interesting, yeah, uh, well, uh, the, the reality is you're right. You know, you can only make one, you can only make so many paintings a year. Uh, we just started with the graphic works for you. Uh, we have your limited editions on all the cruise ships around the world. Uh, in, and we have some published paintings that are gonna be translated into limited editions. Uh, how has that been for you? Cause I, I know there's a, there's a number of collectors that have been posting on social media, just got my Vermeer in uh, limited edition, you know, this kind of thing. Uh, you went from, you know, however many paintings you can make Whoever yeah. saw those paintings, that was your audience. Now you have 4,000 people per cruise ship 
106 cruise ships, turning over every seven days, a million plus people seeing your art every single week through your prints. Tell us about that, uh, that journey. <laughs> Well, you know what? That has been an amazing journey for me. Now, as you can see, because of the layer on layer and layer, I wanted the prints, like what they make, to be amazing. So I worked with Park West for, we, we worked for about a year before we could even find something that would work. Now, they actually brought in a 3D printer that paints layer on layer and layer. And the truth is, if you didn't see them beside each other, wow, the prints are amazing. They shine, they, they sparkle, they glow. It, I'm very, very impressed. And, uh, well, I don't think anybody else could have done it but Park West. Fantastic. Well, we're uh, we're very pleased to have you on our roster, Jeff. Thank you so much for taking the time uh, to do this interview. And there's a lot of collectors that are super enthusiastic and uh, excited to uh, to acquire your paintings at this auction. So uh, they're going to look look forward to uh, to hearing a little bit more of the insight of your creative process through this interview. So thank you so much for that. Thank you so much to all the wonderful collectors out there, and thank you, Park West. You guys rock. Right on, Jeff. Thank you so much. God bless. Talk soon. Take care. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, there you are, Jeff Vermeeren. Uh, we're looking at an artist that uh, that is really taking the art world by storm. We have his art represented on all the cruise ships through print. His prints are fantastic, but they're not paintings. These are paintings, and we have an incredible collection of paintings. We'll sell his prints, too. We have his prints, and you know, we'll make them available for you through the catalog. Uh, but if you have the ability to get an original, a one-of-a-kind work by Jeff Vermeeren, certainly do so, and we have the collection to choose from. So talk to your senior art consultants. Get excited about the collection of Jeff Vermeeren.